Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to achieve the perfect wash and go on type 4 hair using a super really weird and kind of crazy hack. So if you're curious to see what crazy hack I did to get this nice, defined, gorgeous wash and go, then keep watching. Okay guys, so we're actually going to be doing a wash and go on my very old hair. Just took out my braids that I've had in for two months. Want to see that video? Check out my previous upload. But honestly, like y'all know how I do with my hair butter and leave-in combo. So my hair don't even look like it's two months old. It's still hydrated, full, thick. And it doesn't have a ton of product on it, so I feel like we're going to be fine. And if I can get the results that y'all just saw in the previous clip on old hair, just imagine the results that you can get on clean, freshly washed hair. So first, I'm just going to split my hair into four sections. Yeah, I already know. You know how like you wear a protective style for like a couple weeks, a couple months, and then you finally get your like your natural hair back and you low-key miss it? I low-key miss my hair. Like I, I did, I low-key missed it a little bit. I just sometimes forget just how pretty my hair is because I just love protective styling because I love the versatility and also I love the low maintenance of it. But every now and again, I'm like, let's do my natural hair. We're gonna start off with this section. Look how full and beautiful my hair is like. Come on. Okay, so I'm actually gonna split this section into three. Now, when I took my braids out, I did, um, you know, comb through my hair with the white tip comb. So it is like moderately detangled, but it's not fully detangled. Like, yeah, this right here, it's a little painful. And I forgot to get a towel, so we're just gonna use this t-shirt. <laughs> and I'm just going to take my spray bottle and I'm just going to wet my hair. I don't want it to be like soaking wet, drenched, but I do want it to be like a good level of dampness to it, if that makes sense. All right, I'm gonna just work that water through. So the reason I don't want it to be like soaking wet is because with this method, we're trying to reduce shrinkage while getting the maximum definition. So um, the wetter your hair is, the more shrinkage you're gonna get. So we don't, we don't want that. So you can see my curls are starting to come through a little bit. Now, I already have product in my hair. I already have my hair butter and my oil that I apply on my hair. So I'm not going to apply any additional like hydrating products. But we are going to go in with my OG gel. In the past five years of being natural, this is the only gel that I have found that my hair loves and gets it the most defined. To be fair, I haven't really tried that many styling um, gels because I just don't do wash and goes on my hair. Like, this is the first wash and go I think I've done in like a year so i'm just gonna start out with a decent amount i don't want to start too product heavy and i'm just going to first just work the product don't try to detangle your hair don't try to do anything just make sure that that gel is everywhere from roots to ends i like to take a little bit more and really get those roots because that for me is like the puffiest i'll have the most defined ends but my roots will be puff puff okay once the gel is fully applied to my hair. I am going to start raking my hair through to detangle it. Just a light detangle. You don't need to get like a super good detangle. You just want a light detangle. I am essentially just kind of finger detangling my hair from roots to ends because when your hair is tangled, you lose definition because your curls don't clump right and you end up getting a lot more frizz than normal. So I'm just going to go in and just lightly. The reason why I'm not gonna go in with like a comb or a detangling brush is because with type four hair, at least for me, um, in order to get maximum definition, my hair has to be clumped. My hair dries in the clumps that it naturally forms. So you know how like some people who are natural, for example, will like shingle each individual curl. If I do that, I will get way too much volume at the beginning of my wash and go and also my hair will start to get very frizzy. My hair has like formed these like natural looking clumps. For example, this is an individual curl. This is an individual curl of mine right here. But this is a clump. And I like my hair to stay in those clumps. After I finish raking and tangling my hair, I'm just gonna start smoothing. I'm not gonna run my fingers through my hair anymore. I'm just gonna smooth. That way I can really help to define those natural clumps that have formed. My hair is super defined. My clumps are there. So we're just gonna split the section in two, just like the natural clumps. I'm not splitting my clumps up. I'm just, where my hair naturally is separated, just split it in two sections. And then we are going to just twist my hair. 
I'm not gonna twist very tightly. If you watch my hands, I'm like twisting the twist around itself and then twisting it across. So twist around, twist across. A loose twist. Now, when my hair dries and twists, I'm gonna get a lot less shrinkage because my hair is gonna be stretched out from the twist. Versus if I let it dry while it's like free balling, it's gonna shrink up to like up here. So this is gonna help save me a lot of shrinkage. And of course, I have some other tips later on that's gonna help with shrinkage as well, but this is the first one. All right, so now we're just gonna repeat this on the rest of my head, same technique. Baby, you don't know. So I am all done twisting my hair. So I have three on this side, three in the back on this side, one on the left, and I did a side part. So we have three on this side. And this is how much shed hair I got. But like I said, my hair is two months old. So this is actually like normal. It's not like, now if I had just washed my hair and then this was coming out, problem. But you know, it's all about perspective. Now we're gonna let this dry. Now, if you do want your hair to dry faster, you can do smaller twists than me. But keep in mind, do not twist super tight because we just want our curls to be elongated. We don't want it to be so stressed that it looks like a twist out and your actual curl pattern doesn't come through anymore. You see what I'm saying? All right, so we gotta do one last thing because if I know my hair like I do, by the time these dry, my twists are gonna be like half the length that they are now. We're actually gonna body pin the twists like all around my head so that where they won't like dry too, you know, scrunched up. So we're just gonna take the one in the back, bring it up here, and bobby pin it in place, just like that. You don't wanna stretch it too tight again because you still want your natural curl patterns to come through. So you just kinda wanna pull it until you can't pull it anymore, and then just kinda pin it. Also, be careful when you pin these twists that you're not pinning it at the very, very bottom of the twist because you don't want your ends to be like all stretched and straggly. Kind of pin it to your head, maybe like an inch or two above where the twist ends. And there's no rhyme or reason. I'm just gonna pin it where it goes, making sure that it's not like uncomfortable because I am gonna have to sleep on this. Again, you wanna make sure it's comfortable, so don't do it too tight. And then this front one, I'm gonna bring it around instead of like going this way because I want it to dry in this direction. The other ones don't really matter, it's just kind of that one. So I know I look crazy, but it's gonna turn out bomb. So I'm anticipating this is gonna take about <laughs> two or three days to dry just cause my hair is super thick and I'm gonna wear a headband wig over my hair while I'm out of the house for a couple hours each day. So it's gonna take a little bit longer to dry, but it definitely should be dry by, what's today? Today is Wednesday, so it definitely should be dry by Friday. Hopefully like Thursday night-ish we can get away, but probably like Friday. So we're gonna come back when it's dry. Okay guys, so my twists are officially dry and they are looking pretty good. They look nice and elongated. Normally when my hair would dry, it's completely wet. Even in twists, it would probably be like 
this short so we got a little bit of extra length i do feel like a tiny bit of wetness just a tiny like a teensy bit uh in the middle of my head but that's expected because my hair is super thick in the middle and i just don't feel like drying it anymore it's not really going to affect anything so we're just gonna go ahead and take them out okay so i am gonna take some oil this is the oil blend from my website and I'm just going to apply a teeny, 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 tiny bit, like the tiniest bit ever, to my hair just so we can reduce as much frizz as possible. Not a lot, just a little bit. It smells so good. There's a very specific way that you want to take these twists down to actually get the wash and go effect. So first thing, we're just going to unravel the twist. Just like this. Okay, once we've unraveled our twist, I'm going to separate as I go. You just kind of want to run your hands along the twist, and it's going to naturally separate. And it's naturally separating into those wash-and-go clumps that we had um, defined with the gel. Like, look, you see, do you see, like, all of those curls right there? You're just going to separate all those curls, and they're going to naturally come apart. Don't make any sections. Just separate the ones that are naturally forming. Again, those are the curls that um, we define in our wash and go with our gel. So you just want to make sure you get every single section without getting any frizz. And there you go. You can see all my curls have formed and they are stretched but still defined. All right, so we're going to keep going on the rest of our twists. Baby, you don't know what you do to me. Between me and you, I feel a chemistry. I won't let no one These are the final results and I am absolutely in love. I was able to achieve the wash and go look without an insane amount of shrinkage and maintaining my definition because I stretched my hair in twists while letting them dry. And then when you separated them, you see how the curls just easily just came apart into those natural clumps you defined with that gel. And that way you can get a very full looking wash and go where it looks like your individual curl pattern has all been defined and it doesn't look like a twist out. Oh, I'm so happy. And to think I really used to hate washing goes. I just didn't know how to do them right for my hair type. Okay, guys, well, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy videos like this and want to see more, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Click the subscribe button, put your notifications on so you don't miss any of my uploads. Make sure you follow me on TikTok and Instagram for daily content. And check out my hair care line if you're interested in getting some products that promote hair growth. Alrighty, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Tell me what you're seeing me.